Thank you for tuning in. This is Derek Hayes, live here at the Columbus Public Library. I'm here with the legendary illustrator, Jerry Pinkney. I'm glad you're here today. My pleasure. Man, it's a blessing, man. I, I'm just sitting in the back listening to your story. It just, it just made me excited. You know, you're, you're a mom and my father. You know, he has a way with life. Yeah. And so I had to meet you. I had to see what's going on. I had to tell the world more about you. They need to learn about you. So, so what brings you to Columbus? Well, here for the book festival, um, which I'll be doing presentations for uh, families, children, as well as adults tomorrow. And a book signing, book signings, yes. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to get right into this Derek interview so you can tell your story. I know you have things to do. The D is for dream. What is, what is your dream? Well, as, as a kid growing up, the dream was really to actually fulfill myself. I, didn't, I knew I loved drawing and painting and all that. I didn't know that it would turn into being a professional artist, but it was to, to keep myself centered uh, in a way to find ways to express myself. Um, so the dream was to feel whole. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, now the E in my name is for encourage. Mm -hmm. After all these years, you've been doing great things. You've been, you know, right? Like you said, you published your first book in the 60s. Yeah, 64. And you're still going strong. What encourages you? Uh, I think for anything, I love what I do. Um, I must, you know, step back and say I had a, a very um, uh, young family, um, and um, uh, when I was 21, uh, 22, I had four children. Wow! Um, wow. So part of um, this you know, being encouraged had to do with how do I find a way to provide for my family and also find a way to express my my art, and that was where the focus and that's where the energy went. Um, they both actually supported one another. There was okay. a need and a passion. Okay, you had the passion, you had right, to feed your right, need. Exactly. That's exactly. power. Mm -hmm. Okay, the R is for resource. What, yeah. what resource do you have uh, that makes you unique, makes you stand out? Um, very early it was my family. It was this sense that if you believed in something, uh, to go for it. And again, and, and when I was in school, especially in elementary school with junior high school, uh, this is a time when there weren't a lot of opportunities for people of color. Uh, but I was always surrounded by, by family and um, who supported this dream of mine, and they didn't know there would be an end to this dream as well. So the resource came from there, and then along the way, there always was some person that was there for me, who encouraged me, who supported me, and in some way laid out the journey for Oftentimes there were, were, were people much older than I that took an interest in me. So my chief resource was, was people. Okay, yeah. okay. Family, that's important. Family. Like, like, and like, then, when, yeah. like when the, when the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, they had the thing, we all family. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mentioned uh, your resource, but also the R's for ready. Yeah. Not just when did you know where you're ready, but how do you stay ready? With the young, the young, the young bucks coming up, and, right. and, and you've been doing it year after year after year, I decade think, after decade. I think the important point there might be the fact that you have to believe that something greater is going to happen to you tomorrow or next week, and you want when that comes around, you want to be prepared for it. Okay. So, in a sense, I'm always in a process of study, okay. of learning. And it's all about just that, the belief that in the future something will be there. I tell the story all the time, it was in 2000 and, um, uh, 2001, where I got a call from the White House to, um, to work with them on a project. Um, would I have known about that, uh, that something like that was could have happened? No. But when it did happen, I was right. ready. Right, right. I was ready. Okay, the eyes for individuals. Is there one individual that others should learn more about and why? Um, for me, I, mean, um, I, I was really, when I was 11, 12 years old, when I met my first artist, um, John Liney. John Liney? Yeah, L-I-N-E-Y, -E who was a, um, a cartoonist at the time, but he took a great interest in me. And he was the one, in a sense, that planted that seed of possibility. So of all the people that have been a part of my life and part of my career, uh, he stands out simply because he took the time uh, to talk to this young child, who, young boy who loved to draw uh, and expose them to the possibilities of, of, of being able to provide for himself and his family okay. through the gift. Okay. 
you mentioned your children are also yes, are all of our children. Do any of them have any websites or books? Well, they do. They do. Um, I mean, Brian has illustrated probably close to about 50 books already. Okay, and what's his name, Brian? Brian Pinkney. And Brian he, Pinkney. And okay. there's Andrea Davis um, Pinkney. Okay. Who just won the, won the Credit Scott um, King Award for Hand in Hand. Okay. Um, and um, then, of course, my wife, Gloria Jean, she's a writer. And, um, and then my youngest son is an, a, um, an illustrator. He uses photography uh, to interpret text. But um, uh, he, uh, they, he's married to uh, Sandra. Um, and she's illustrated, um, I'm sorry, written uh, poems for his books. Okay. So, um, that's probably, I just, I just asked that so you can mention, because people, yeah, people I mean, didn't well, know very, somebody very planted a seed, yeah, yeah, someone planted a seed in you, and you somebody planted exactly. right, you planted a seed in right. your own children. Sure. Yeah. And the, the seed of my name is for continue, when yeah. things don't look optimistic, what makes you want to continue? Oh, I love what I do. Right, right. And I am, I'm very blessed and fortunate to see how my work, uh, people respond to. Um, okay. So when things, when things go, if they look a little dark or blue, then I just draw. Right, right. There you go, because you draw it out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the, last le the last letter of my name is K mm -hmm. for keys. What are some keys to success that you can leave for other entrepreneurs or other artists that can, you know, that might, you never know who's listening, who just right. needs that one word or that one idea? <coughs> Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah, just believe in yourself. Um, and especially today with the world shifting, we it's very hard for young people to know exactly what they want to do because the world changes. But if you believe in yourself, you have confidence in yourself, you'll be able to meet the needs of whatever happens, and that's that's going to be key. Yeah. And be yourself. Okay. Well, and, 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 and before we close out, what's the name of that street you grew up on? Uh, Earl Ham Street. Earl Ham Street. Everyone in East Earl Ham Street. I grew up on Harvard Drive in Illinois. He grew okay. up on Earl, <laughs> Earl Ham Street in right. Philadelphia. Okay. And uh, just a blessing. This is Derek Hayes. This is Jerry Pitney. Uh, they call me DA, so they call you JP. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Before we leave, let people know how they can reach you, how they can visit your website. Well, my web website's easy. It's sherrybinkneystudio.com. Okay. And it's a full, um, it's a website that really speaks to uh, my process, my choices. And there's also a page on learning differences that uh, speaks to my learning disability. Okay, and I thank you for your time. You're welcome, Derek. This is a Derek interview with the legendary illustrator, Jerry Pickney. Listen in, go to his website, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.